it's Vika. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited for this reaction. It'll be to Ian Dior, which I hope a lot of y'all know, but basically he just released an album um, last night. It's called On To Better Things, and we've been waiting for this one for a while. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but my LEDs are set on purple for the album, of course, because it's like a purple theme. But I've heard two of the songs on the album, V12 and Let You. And I didn't know there was going to be interludes in this. Well, my AirPods are about to die. Well, that sucks. They're not going to get through here. I'm going to go grab my case and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, um, obviously. I'm really excited for this album. Um, oh, also thought it was, was released a few days ago. And I have not listened to it except for like the first 10 seconds just because I needed to like get some new Ian into my ears and prepare for the album. Yeah, let's just get straight into it because I know y'all don't love long intros and neither do I, so I feel you there. Okay, so Is It You is first. Okay, I can't lie. I am reading the genius lyrics, which is why I'm focusing on the screen, but he just said, what was it? It's all in my head, which is a line that he sings in the song Emotion, which is one of his most popular songs. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, as y'all know. Uh, and also, this reaction thing will be the decider of whether I put Ian on the wall here I mean and it probably won't be for a while just because my printer doesn't print in color well like dropped out of college isn't printed the best also this um, these two were printed amazingly so like I think the printer has really good um, I don't know like pink tones and blue so I mean hopefully it could print purple well but we'll have to see um, now we go on to the chorus as I read the little sections on genius lyrics.
I love his voice. His vocals are so good. Oh, I need to not have the shuffle on. I'm gonna like consistently forget what that's called, the shuffle thing. Yeah, I really love his vocals and his voice in general. And I love when he like starts to get between the singing and rapping. So I'm pretty sure, I really haven't done too much research about the album, but I'm pretty sure it's about him moving on from some type of relationship. I mean, that would be like suggested from the title, but it could just also be like uh, life in general, just moving on to better things. But next up is Complicate It. I didn't want to say complicated, because that sounds really similarly to complicate it. Yeah, that's why I said it so slowly anyways. Okay, stop. Okay, so before we go on to V12, loving the flow of this song. Oh, this is, I was trying to like point and do whatever, but I know this song is gonna be on repeat for me. Oh, I'm gonna love this so much. I actually, um, you know, Genius has like a little like update or a little description of if the song was leaked. And basically it just says a snippet was uploaded in February and also later in February of last year and I have a feeling that I might have heard a small part um, because it says another snippet was uploaded to Ian's Instagram on the 16th of February so I have a feeling that I might have heard that because I recognize the chorus but verse one oh so good I'm gonna love that so much also the bridge the overall song has a great flow to it and the last thing I was going to mention about the song is in verse 2 he says roller coaster going through the highs and lows I think it could have been really cool if he went like highs and lows which I I was expecting a little bit and it almost happened I feel like it almost happened it was like oh that could have been such a good addition okay next up is v12 and might I say I just Look, okay, I've been listening to this song for like a couple months now, right? But 
but I just looked at the lyrics because some of them like I didn't fully comprehend <laughs> and I didn't know that Ian was saying that I think I got um, I think I got Uzi's part for the most part yeah I think I'm gonna pause halfway through just to get some thoughts out about the song Yo, that's disappointing. Okay, so the butterfly doors, I just realized that it's for the car, or uh, Lamborghini, and I think maybe the Aventador has the butterfly doors, but these are all different types. This is, um, Murcielago? Yeah, the Murcielago. Uh, Sesto Elemento, and then this was one that I haven't heard of before, but the Gallardo, and I actually got this like several years ago, so. Don't ask me where I got it, but yeah, here's my like, car collection. I, s I know I've like loved the Aventador for a long time because I've just heard of it for a few years now, and I've always like had an interest in Lamborghini in general, mostly because of like the unique look of the car and like how it's like this one especially I love just because like the indentations here and like the back. And then the iconic like front style of the car. I would have expected myself to have an Aventador, but I clearly don't. And maybe it's because they don't sell the model cars of the Aventador. Yeah, let's keep going because I really like this song. I love when he says I'm sorry in that part, it just, oh, so good in the lyrics. Where was it? A hearse, right? That's like what you're in when you're traveling in a coffin, I think. Yeah, well, there's a few surprises in the lyrics. Diamonds with my smile and my necklace in Ian's chorus. I guess he has um, tooth gems, something like that. I'm a get up in it, yeah, yeah. I swore he was saying something more PG, but um, I guess that's where my mind goes, which I guess that's good, but I don't know. Okay, let's finish out the song.
so many of Uzi's ad libs are so catchable and like easy to slip off the tongue and like so fun to recite like in general and like in the car. Next song is I Might. Not like I have much evidence behind this, but I type in like all lowercase, like the beginning of all my sentences are lowercase. Unless I have the word I to start off my sentence, like I'm going to the mall or something, um, then I'll like capitalize it. And that's what he did in this song is it's a capital I and then my. So like, Ian, are we same terms, same brain? Two, two, I don't know. Similar, wait, what is it? Great minds think alike, even though we, well, you don't know who I am, but I know who you are. Okay, anyways. Okay, actually that works, that, that's pretty cool. Um, it's just something like I need to try out. Chorus, oh, I absolutely love when, I think basically literally any rapper or singer mentions the Dior, Prada, I don't know, Valentino, like luxury brands. Um, I don't know, I feel like Dior, no. What am I going on? I feel like Ian really fits Dior, but it's also his last name, which I don't know how he got that because I'm really jealous, but it also wouldn't fit my last name, but it really fits his name. Okay, anyways, let's keep going. Yo, I really like when he hits that I'm lit and then he goes back to on level with I might add some characteristic to the song, but I don't want to talk for too long because this video is going to be so long to edit. But next song is Heavy.
for this song, I feel like it's based off of lots of like real world um, analogies, like karma comes back and bites you. Yeah, when it rains, it pours. The no love in my veins, making the veins cold. The intro, y'all, I apologize for not knowing who the producer is. I forgot his last. Okay, well, the haha, -ha, Nick, you're stupid. I've heard that ha 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 part from the girl, and like, you can just like go right along with the rest of the tag, cause. I mean, if you've heard it like 10 times, and you know, like the pattern and everything. I'm gonna make sure that my AirPods are charging, because if they're not, I'm gonna go get the charger and plug them in. And I don't think they are charging, so I'm gonna go get the charger and plug them in. So I'm not even halfway through the album, and like barely one third of the way through. And I've already been recording for half an hour, so this should be a, a great album reaction. It's gonna take me. A while to edit and then a while to upload it into YouTube. Okay, but next is the Dark Angel interlude, and I'm gonna go see if there's anything. Yeah, there is. Okay. Oh, is it actually like a short song? So, is he talking about like people calling him uh, industry plant? I almost said industry baby. Like, well, that's the song, but he has a whole what's it called album dedicated to people calling him that. I don't even know what was his first song that blew up because I've only been with him since Sick and Tired, which was like 2020, and that was oh, that song reminds me of such good times. Yeah, I wonder if he is talking about like selling his soul because that's literally what it sounds like gave me fortune for my soul okay i gotta pause because my air just died let's see if the other one has any charge to it probably not so i don't know what I'm gonna do. You alive? 14%, okay, we are living on life. Um, although that might be redundant. I like this interlude and it's like actually like vocals and not just talking. Okay, so next up is Obvious featuring Travis Barker, but something I do want to say, which I just forgot, solid. Um, I'm going to see if I can redeem my memory. For that interlude, I thought his um, pronunciation, or like the way he, like the speed at which he pronounces the syllables. I don't know, that's some old stuff. Um, the syllables would have been like faster, so I anticipated that, but he took his time between each syllable. Um, but yeah, next song is obvious. And on Genius it says part one, but I'm not too sure, because on Spotify it just says obvious.
So that um, little, I don't know what it's called, some type of like drum reset. Okay, that's not, that obviously not what it's called, but like, I don't even, the drum set, like just reset the whole vibe of the song. Genius calls it obvious part two. <laughs> What is going on here? Okay. Oh, I really like the post-chorus part. The him just repeating the letters D and A. S. <laughs> no, I just like the rhythm of it. And I gotta like all of these. Heartbreaker with a three at the second, third. The third E is a three. I really hope I like this one. So the next song options also has the producer tag perfect, which I also don't know who produced that producer tag or produced these songs. Um, actually, I could literally look at the lyrics and, or the lyrics, the credits. It's Taz Taylor. Mm-hmm. Because I recognize that song.
or name hello okay options is song number nine and it's actually kind of short it's 142 although apple music says it's 145 okay whatever That little ad lib of him saying maybe I got options. I'm so glad I got it on point the first time because that's how I, again, was expecting it to be. But yeah, this, this is good stuff. And I don't know if there was another thing I was gonna talk about, but the pop star, yes, I found it. The pop star, but still hit you with the flow switch. He is very known for doing pop, but he has some other big talents too. So next is Thought It Was featuring Machine Gun Kelly and Travis Barker. And it already has a million streams. So let's just, oh, no, it's not. That's not the next song. The next song is Regret. Sorry to like jump the gun. And this song on Spotify is not explicit. So go Ian, no, I'm kidding. Um, I don't really care if they're explicit or not. Okay, let's get to it.
the little music thing in the background reminds me of like I don't want to say it, but Minecraft and some Minecraft YouTubers when I was younger. I got surprised that my AirPods were low, but I, I'm just charging it, whatever. Um, although it doesn't apply whatsoever, I thought I should just link my personal life into this. I know you feel that way, but we agreed on no strings. Um, speaking of strings, my violin, E string, which I know y'all don't care about, literally went out of tune for no reason this morning during practice and I'm like <laughs> so I was playing the note right but then when I shifted back to position and I was like supposed to play like the fingerings on the um sheet music whatever it wasn't in tune I'm like is that me and then when everyone else was playing really loud I tried to like check if my E was out of tune and I mean I couldn't really tell but then like I had to shift way up for like notes that were like down here so I was just like, okay, it's out of tune. And then I started trying to tune it and like the peg and whatever, like kept turning back so it wouldn't like go to the right pitch. And so basically I just played the notes that were not on that string. Okay, well, love to involve my personal life into this, but the next song is Thought It Was by obviously Andy or Travis and Machine Gun Kelly. And I haven't heard MGK with Ian in a while, but I'm pretty sure they've had a recent song. More to, oh, there's my dog barking. It's a pretty good length song, but yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so I don't know if y'all know, but I love 24K Golden, um, obviously, and obviously I listen to his music and whatever, and I like Red City of Angels, and it's highlighted because someone made an annotation, and I thought it was just um, because City of Angels is Los Angeles, because he was talking about um, feeling in the hills at night, but then the annotation, someone says, could be a possible reference to... 24k golden song city of angels which did like pop into my mind for probably a second and then i'm like no he's definitely talking about los angeles yeah let's keep going i'm actually really excited for this though and like i said before i only had like the first 10 seconds of this song so what was it like tuesday and wednesday i only heard i lost my mind and then i paused it because i couldn't listen to more because i know i had to react to it for y'all and I'm pretty sure there's also a video, so I should probably react to that as well, but let's keep going before I ramble on. Of course, that line is sad, but that bridge is so good. Oh, the vocals go in. Also, but I really miss my into I've been crying inside. I think that's the flow switch he was talking about in the other song.
Okay. Apologies for um, having this happen, but I was not expecting him to like melodically sing like MTK. I was expecting him to like kind of go off um, like he did in the song F You Goodbye by my good friend Roy. He's not my friend, although I wish he was. Also, I looked up at the ceiling and my friend put this sticky note on my ceiling that says, Always remember I'm watching you, I think. It also looks like it says I'm watering you, which is hilarious. But, um, no, I was just very shocked that MGK was singing. Um, and that friend who put that on there also loves MGK. Um, but that's good stuff. But let's keep going. Well, I guess um, the most recent collaboration besides Sick and Tired that they had was Nothing Inside, which was on MGK's album, which I did react to, and like, it's a whole story. But yeah, um, four more songs, actually. Well, one interlude that I don't know if it'll be a song, and I won't be reacting to Let You because I do have my own reaction to the music video to it on this channel so if y'all want to you can go ahead and check that out yeah I think this is gonna be a song this next interlude so we had a little mishap happen where basically my phone died luckily y'all got the good part of me <laughs> tearing up during what was it thought it was but I have three more songs to react to sinking fallen and hopeless romantic featuring Travis Barker. The only thing is, um, I might have kind of forgot what I said, but that's fine, I'll just try to remember. Um, so here is Sinking Once Again For Me.
So I remember the first time I heard sinking. Um, that was the ooh part. <laughs> Which, yeah, I know I recited it really well. The post chorus, I was like, he's just amazing at harmony and melody. And he's in general just a musical genius. But I was also curious to whether that was him doing the harmonic piece at the end. Um, because of course if it is, that's incredible talent. And I hope I prefaced this before, but I'm not reacting to Let You, because I already have a reaction to that up on this channel. So next song is Fallen. I love the near vibrato he does with his voice when he says, I lost a part of me and guess it wasn't meant to be. And again, with the whatever you want to consider it, harmony, melody, at the now I'm free falling, that part is literally so pure and beautiful. Last song is Hopeless Romantic, and I just hope I can retain the information that like I said in the reaction that I did before to it because I need to restate it after I hear all the songs.
that song. And I actually didn't say that in, like, when I finished the first reaction, but that song is, I definitely underrated it when I first heard it, which was literally like 20 or 30 minutes ago, just because I had to give my phone time to charge. Something that I did want to mention is I'm not as nice as I used to be. I relate to that because I used to always try to be nice to everyone, but there's no use when they don't reproduce the same energy. Okay, songs that I really like is Is It You, V12, Let You, that's a great one, Heartbreaker, and Thought It Was, because that Machine Gun Kelly, oh, that was, okay. Also, Sinking is good, and so many of them are good, too. I'm excited to put this album on my wall, like I said earlier. Um, I think Purple should come out good, because it came out really nice in The Legends Never Die. And then the pink and blue tints came out nice, so it's... I don't know what purple is. Combina isn't it literally a combination of blue and pink or, like, red? I rated... I actually had to give myself a few seconds, but I did rate the album, I think, a 9.3 out of 10. And I love all the talent that Ian put into it. The only thing that I wish that was mixed around a little bit was like the vibe of each song. I feel like some of the later songs of the album could have been put in earlier just to like mix up the vibe as it went along. But at the same time, some albums actually have like straight up track lists. So you listen to it in order and it has a meaning. But yeah, that's gonna be my reaction to the album OTBT, on to better things, I couldn't remember the name. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe if you like the content I create, and hit the post notification bell to get notified when I upload. Also make sure to stay positive and be kind.